Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so uh, I need this computer just to explain this. So what we have seen so far in Copelia Sim is if you want to do uh, joint controls, so for example, the pendulum, then you do torque equals PID. This is the formula for PID, uh, but you can only do that with uh, the joint angle. Suppose say you wanted to make this pendulum upright by setting up the Y coordinate. Here the Y coordinate is basically, uh, the, this is the Y coordinate. So if you want to make that Y coordinate go to zero, which is basically saying the same thing that theta equals zero, then uh, you need to set basically a PID on Y. Okay, this should be Y dot, my, my bad. So you can, in order to set the PID in code, uh, you need to do, write your own PID in simulation in Lua. And my goal is to explain to you how to do this. So, okay, so I'm going to try to show you how to control this pendulum to go vertically up uh, using a PID control. Okay, so this is uh, the file which I got from uh, our earlier class where I showed you how to set up uh, basically the velocity control, position control, and then there was torque control. So here it is set to 49.05, which happens to be the torque I need to keep it in the horizontal position. Okay, so that's the right amount of torque. So let me now open the file and set that torque to it's a zero. So let's say torque equals zero. And then just to check if it really works. So it falls, no wonder it falls because chalk is zero. Now let's see if, how we can set a PID control. But before we set a PID control, we get need to get the, the Y coordinate of this pendulum because you can see this, the Y coordinate is along the this axis. So let's get just that. So for that, we need to find the position of the object called, let's see, we only have the joint. So we need to get the coordinates of Pendulum. So I'm going to define a new handle. Pendulum. Fair enough. In, in Copelia Sim scripts, uh, do variables persist between function calls? Yes, they do. Like MATLAB. Okay. So that's that. And then let's get the position. Let's see. Sim. Dot. Get object position i think this is right uh, and i think you need to give the handle oh it's just giving you the hint uh, relative to object so it should be with respect to the world frame so it's fine and then it should be output should be position okay so let's uh, so let's first of all just get revert back to 49.05 and then let's uh, see what this output is so print print Position one, position two, position three. Okay, close this and run. Before I run, let me just, uh, the output will be published here. Okay. So run this, and then you can see that the, the output is constant. Uh, it is x is 1.15, y is minus 0.5, and z is 1.49. So what I need to do essentially is I need to drive the y, which is minus 0 0.5 to zero. So let's just do it through first a p control, proportional control, then we'll do integral and then derivative of pd first and then integral. So what I need here is some kind of an error. So let's say that the error and I'm giving, giving error. it's actually why but I'm putting error just because in that case you might have a set point let's say 30 degrees so you might work with an error rather than y so let's put position three and uh, since the position you can see it's negative I will take so the error is always position minus uh, in this case the set point is zero so that's the error sorry position two my bad Okay, and then if I want to do a proportional controller, I should be doing 
सम गेन के पी स्पुट के पी इक्वल्स कुछ स्पुट वन टाइम्स एरर एंड नाउ सी व्हाट हैपेंस दैट्स नॉट इनफ क्लियरली ओके लेट मी ज़ूम आउट Yeah, and then let's let's drive it to maybe hundred. And run this. You can see it's slowly going up. And then it just overshoots. That's a little bit too much. You just try to reduce that. So let's make it maybe fifty. that's too little try 75 and we you don't need to close this we can just run it on the side like this that's too little let's ramp it up to 80 82 maybe that's too little What about eighty? Let's uh, do ninety. Huh? Ninety-five. That's interesting. That's too much. It's very close between ninety-five. Ninety. Uh, I think hundred is fine. Let's not waste our time trying to tune that up. Hundred is fine. It's just going, but we need to uh, introduce a derivative term. So let's do KD times error dot. Okay. So for the error dot, we need the rate of change of uh, y. So one way of getting that is there is a variable which gives us the Velocity, kind of seeing if it's zero in this code. I don't think it's here in the code. Okay, so we can technically find the velocity in y direction, and that velocity is um, comes. It comes from one of those objects in in thirty two no float thirty two parameters. I can maybe search that. Okay, let me copy this. Paste it uh, right here, and I'm interested in the linear velocity, so let's skip this. Okay, and the shape handle is basically the pendulum. Okay, so I need the y velocity. So that means I need error dot equals uh, well linear velocity in the second component. So then I'll add that, and then I need to put a assign a value to kd. So let's just put ten. Okay, and then see what happens. Okay, and this. Okay, it looks like that did the job. You can see that the position actually reads zero. Uh, okay, so that's one way to do it. The other way you can do it is actually integral control. Let me just get rid of the error dot term because it looks like it's doing its job. So let's just put zero for that. Okay, let's just do it with uh, P and I. Okay, so what I need then is some error, and to get the some error, I all I need to do is I need to take 
the previous sum error and then add it to my error. So then I need to basically initialize sum error to zero. Okay, and then keep adding that at every iteration. And then I would have a K I times sum. Okay, and then uh, K I, let's just make it say one. Okay, see what happens. So here you will see that it overshoots and then goes back because that's how that's the property of the integral. Okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> Uh, I believe that this by itself won't help. I need to put the D term. Uh, let's see. K I. It's a little bit too far away from uh, the zero position and that's why I think it's causing a problem. Uh, but let's say that I have uh... Okay, so the other thing which I forgot is that th there is this problem with uh, Ki times some error is that there is an over, it, it just can build up to a very huge value and that's not what you want. So you usually want to uh, cap it down. So let me show you what, what I mean by that. So let's look at this print uh, Ki times some error. Okay. And let's see what it prints out. Now it's going, so it's in C that it's, Posit. So you can see it goes minus eight, minus nine, minus 10. Interesting. Shouldn't Ki be over dt? Ki, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm summing it up, right? It's the sum is taking care of that dt. Integral dt is basically summation over time, which is just exactly what is going on here. Stress, smaller value. It doesn't seem to help. So the integral term is usually something you just used to take care of bias. If there's no, if there's a bias, if the final angle is not exactly at zero, then it helps. Uh, if I put, let's say two for the D term, see what happens. Nope. Can you try KI like a one ten thousandth? This? 1,000 or 10,000? Like 0 0.001 or something like that. I don't think it's going to help, but. It's definitely slower, but it should now go back. It should go back. Yeah, okay, that worked. So it's overshooting, but eventually I think it will come, come to Maybe reduced by a factor of 10. Yeah. I mean, this is not how you want to balance a pendulum, but. It's growing too large too fast and it has to take you an equal amount of time to decrease. So just need to reduce it, I think. Or yeah. put a reset when it hits the zero position. Yeah, you can do that. So that's the other thing I was saying, which is when it hits the zero position, we can reset it. So what we do here is we say that if uh, what's that position two, which is the Y position is less than uh, minus 0 0.02 and position two is greater than 0 0.02. Then we just make the sum error to two zero. Then, and then end. Okay, so now maybe it will work a little bit more. It's actually very, pretty small. I don't think it's really doing much. Do much.
Okay, so instead of that, let me show you a different way of doing this. I think this will work. So typically what happens is when you do a PD control, you get an overshoot. Uh, let me just put that, just get rid of uh, this all together. So, okay, let's just make that zero. And let's just make this, uh, it was 10, so let's make it five. Okay, now there's an overshoot and it goes back. And you can see that oscillate once twice, okay. Okay, three times maybe. Okay, let's just stop this and now int introduce the integral term. Or maybe the integral term was there. No, it was not there. So let's put 0 0.01. I believe the response will be much faster than three oscillations, but I may be wrong. Now it overshot. Doesn't make seem to be doing any much difference. Let's try increasing the gain. Nope, that's too much. Is your other computer done updating it? Oh, uh, it's updating it. Oh, it's still doing it? Oh, uh, yeah, it's still mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, so in this case, really, it doesn't look like the item is really helping. You're just better off just putting. So, what I try to do is typically I'll keep the uh, PD, uh, and then if there's an over bias, so if the if it doesn't come to zero exactly, it goes to 0.1, then I'll put a small integral term and so it'll take care of the bias. The property of a integral control is to actually correct for the bias. Here the, seems like it's maybe slightly off. So if you put an integral here, it might help a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's too off. So it's questionable if it's really going to help. Okay, so that's, that's it. How do you write your own PID controller? Uh, some things you need to care about is that sometimes this some error just blows up and you might either reset it to zero or you can cap it to something. So if it's, you see it's five, because five minus five, just keep it at five or something. Uh, that's the other thing which works. So really, it's really about tuning. 